Hello, Glad Nation. This is Mr. Lux, principal at Fowler High School. This is our senior meeting, virtual style this year. Unfortunately, we weren't able to meet in person, but hopefully this video finds you well and you're having a great day and great senior year. For our in-person students, I'm glad that we've had a year to spend together. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed having you here in the building. For our remote learners, I hope, hope this year has been going well for you. Uh, we miss you, but hopefully we can end this year on a high note and you can have a memorable end to your senior year. This video is going to cover some of the information that was sent out via email uh, that we normally go over with our seniors. I'm not going to read it word for word, but I'm just going to highlight some of the things that are in there. If you have any questions uh, after watching the video and also reading the attachment, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer those questions. Regarding attendance for seniors, while well, graduation is right around the corner, uh, school is in session still, so make sure you come every day and put your best foot forward. There's no senior skip days, uh, so make sure that you come, do your work, and end on a high note. Uh, graduation requirements, there are no changes this year, so make sure you, you do actually pass all your classes that you need to graduate. If you have questions, be sure to ask your counselors. The last days for seniors. Tuesday, May 25th is the last regular non-exam school day. That is also tractor day. So if, uh, if you're not going to take exams, which exams are optional this year, May 25th is your last school day. Again, it is tr also tractor day in the morning. So if you have questions regarding what vehicle you can drive or bring on tractor day, make sure you ask Sergeant Soley ahead of time. May 26th is the first senior exam day, and that's for class periods 1, 3, and 5. May 27th is the second exam day for seniors, periods 2, 4, 6. Uh, again, exams are optionals for seniors, but if you'd like to take them, May 26th, 1, 3, and 5, and May 27th is 2, 4, and 6. Seniors, at the end of the year, uh, make sure you do what you do every day here in the building. Uh, unfortunately, in the past, we've had students who have chosen to take uh, the road less or traveled and had exhibited some poor decision making and jeopardized their, their ability to participate in graduation. Make sure that you follow the, the handbook, do what you've done every day, and end on a high note so we don't have to go down that road. Uh, school obligations or fines or debts, make sure you have those paid up in the main office by May 28th. Senior Honors Night, uh, that is tomorrow night. Uh, if you received an email from myself inviting you to that ceremony, it's at 6 p.m. Make sure you, that you get there. And the last uh, key thing that we have is commencement. We have our commencement ceremony. And so the question has been, what's it going to look like, Mr. Lusk? I feel that a number of times. Well, after getting some, some feedback from students, parents, staff, and I also met with the school board last week, the decision has been made to have the parade like we did last year for our, our seniors. Uh, we re received rave reviews last year for the ceremony we put on. Everybody really found it to be a great time and, and really enjoyed the family and community aspect to it. So we're going to do that again this year for our seniors. Uh, the only caveat to it is right now we've had June 6th at 2 p.m. on the calendar for graduation, just like we've had uh, at 2 p.m. on the first Sunday every year. Uh, unfortunately, just due to weather being outside, we got to keep June 5th as an option. So it'll be either June 5th or June 6th at 2 p.m., uh, weather dependent, and we will make that determination as soon as possible in that week uh, so that everybody can plan. But we wanted to get that out to everybody so uh, you can plan accordingly. Uh, this year, it's going to be very similar to last year where it's going to be down towards the fairgrounds coming up uh, via car with the graduates in the, this, the passenger vehicle, uh, passenger seat, I should say, and they can celebrate, have some fun with it. Like last year, our students were decorating their cars and, and having a good time with it. They'll come through the Four Corners, where Mr. Deeroff will read the name at the Four Corners, and I'll be able to hand you your diploma. And then you'll head down to Hibbard, take left on Hibbard, and you'd go into the district grounds. Uh, we're on the campus of the high school. We will have photo op opportunities for students at the at the sign bus mascot etc and it was really a good time last year so we're really excited about offering that again for our students it'll be a really a, a great community and family oriented event and we really look forward to sending out our seniors on a high note 
Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. I will have much more details regarding the commencement exercises uh, when the time gets closer, but we really look forward to putting out another grad great graduation for our seniors. Take care, be safe, and as always, go Glads.